G'day guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news and as you can tell behind me I have a new setup let me know if you like it and if you do like the new setup please smack that like button real good and now let's jump into the first news report on today's show and it's to do with the Xbox One and its new system update. Yes, the Xbox One has a brand new system update that has just began to roll out. It started a few days ago. Some people in the preview program may have got it even before that. However, some people still don't even have the update because of the way Microsoft is rolling it out at a steady pace. Personally, I have the update myself. I'm not sure about all you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. But for my friends and myself, we all love it. By friends, I mean Pikachu and Yoda and also Gorilla Man, but that, don't worry about that. No, but seriously, I do love the new update. At first, I wasn't a big fan of the My Games and Apps being moved from down the bottom to the top right, but now I think about it, I'm like, ah, I actually prefer that because it's quicker to get there. And on top of that, when you are downloading like a new update, it's actually a lot more detailed and it shows you how long you've got left. It shows you the speed it's downloading at and things like that. It's really, really good. Now on another note, one of the cool big updates with this is it has background audio support. Since the Xbox One came out in like 2013, I believe, it hasn't had any background audio support. So you couldn't listen to like music in the background while you played games. You always had to have it snapped or something like that. And it was really annoying, but now it's a feature that's available on this new update and I just love it. Also, just one other feature that I will touch on. You guys can read about this update. Everything that is included in the update in the link down below. But one other feature I will quickly mention here is Cortana has come to Xbox One. And personally, I haven't used it. I'm not 100% sure if it's available in Australia just yet because I've heard Canadian people that say that they can't use it just yet. But it is available in the US apparently. So that's pretty cool. Personally, I'm a big fan of this. And especially if you've got Kinect still connected to your Xbox One, then it comes in really, really handy. But anyway, as I did state, the link is in the description down below if you do want to read more about this Xbox One update for August. But now let's jump on to the next gaming news report on today's show. And it's that a video has come out showing off a comparison side by side of the PS4 and Xbox One graphics of Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's actually a pretty cool in-depth look at how the graphics look on both the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game. Obviously the Xbox One version came out like a year ago and now the PS4 version has just come out. If you do happen to have both systems, it's definitely worth checking out which one you prefer to get depending on the graphics and everything like that, unless you just decide, hey, I'd rather get trophies or achievements. You can check out the full video of the graphics comparison. It is linked down below. It's definitely worth checking out, but now let's jump on to the the final news report on today's show, and it's that the system requirements for the PC version of No Man's Sky have been released, and as you can see right here, these are the minimum requirements. Pretty simple stuff. You don't really need any sort of beast of a PC or anything to run it at minimum spec, but then you do have the recommended requirements for the game, and you can see right here in an Intel i7-860 as the CPU. Then on the GPU, you need a GTX 960 or an R9-285, and you need eight gigs of RAM and also 10 gigs of hard drive space. So if you do have a pretty good PC with anything over a 960, you're doing yourself pretty well for this game, and I've heard it does look pretty good. A lot of leaked videos of the PS4 version have come out, and it does look pretty nice. So, yeah, but I'm not going to link you guys any of that stuff because it's illegal. The game's still not out, so yeah, it's like some sort of illegal copy that got leaked and bought on eBay. It's, it's crazy stuff. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy the gaming news. Again, please let me know what you think of the new setup. I'm still working on it. I feel like this area is a bit blank up there. I don't know what to do up there. Specifically, tell me what I should do up here. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks, sure, man. Okay, guys, the question is, what is your favorite video game vehicle of all time and why? So get creative with your answer. Put it down below in the comment section and you can end up on the next show. But if you enjoyed today's video, please smack that like button because I'm Chan Chong. My accent's really here. <laughs>